Tonight, we're following up with an Alamo man adjusting to a new life after he contracted COVID-19. Six months ago, we introduced you to Pepe Forina, and Forina underwent a double amputation after being diagnosed. Our Tylisa Hampton has more on his journey to recovery. In July, father of two, Pepe Farina tested positive for COVID-19. Days later, he was admitted into the hospital. My breathing had gone down quite a bit. I was in the COVID unit for about two weeks. The always on his feet car salesman thought he would be home in no time. A few days before August 11th, they called her and told her he's doing good. You know, he's gonna, he's gonna be all right. However, things took a turn for the worse. I wasn't expected to make it overnight. Farina is diabetic, and after developing sepsis, one of his doctors said there were complications from his medicine. COVID itself can cause blood clots. We know uh, that 15% will have it. Then the use of medications to try to protect the heart and the brain. Farina says his feet started to turn black, and doctors recommended amputating both legs below the knee. And I told my wife, I said, let's do it. While you were in the hospital, did you think that you were going to die? No. But during his hospital stay, Farina lost his father. He passed away October the 8th. I came home the 11th. At home, holding the last picture taken with him, Farina used the memory of his dad as his motivation in therapy. I promised him that I would walk again. He's still working on that plan, but some goals have been reached. In the morning, get out of bed get in my wheelchair and come outside. He has turned his greatest challenge into a positive, using the power of his journey on social media. I gotta send a big thank you. And he hasn't been alone in recovery. His wife is right by his side. For better, for worse, for sick or for poor. Not to mention his four-legged best friend. Right now, Farina is waiting to get prosthetics as his wounds heal and the minute he does. Give thanks to the man upstairs and my angel. And that's my dad. If Farina could go back, he says he would get the vaccine. It's a personal choice. I mean, if you want to get it done, get it done. If you don't want to get it done, don't do it. If you don't do it, there's consequences. Consequences Farina is learning to live with day by day, but says he is grateful to be alive. Reporting in Alamo, I'm Talisa Hampton.